There's heaps of videos on YouTube that show hit and miss engines running. I thought I'd do something a bit different and actually show you how they work. So if you have five minutes to spare, I'll show you exactly how my hit and miss engine works. If you prefer, just skip to four minutes and 30 seconds and you can see it running. So let's start. What we have here is an open crank horizontal cylinder hit and miss engine. What does that mean exactly? These old hit and miss engines are things of considerable beauty. And this particular engine is about 80 years old. Made in Australia of an American design. The engine itself consists of the flywheels and the cylinder um, that sits at the front. Now, as this is a horizontal cylinder engine, you can see right the way down in here, there's the piston. You can see it just sticking out a little bit of the cylinder there. That's the bottom dead center, and as we move it this way, you can see the cylinder moving up. As everyone will know, once the charge explodes, the cylinder is forced, piston I mean, is forced down here, driving the conrod, which in turn drives the crankshaft, hence the name open crank. The crank here is open, as you can see, it spins around um, every time the charge fires up here in the cylinder. Up top here, you can see the water jacket in there is there's a water and there's a bit of uh, soluble grease floating on top. Up here, that's the oiler that drips oil straight down a tube in there, all the way down to the top of the piston so that when the pistons right the way out as you can see here it just gets a bit of oil applied to the top of it and it's enough to keep it lubricated a feature of these engines though is that they are rather greasy and oily and you can see from the floor of my garage here oil gets splattered all over the place and you can see I've got a piece of cardboard that absorbs it that there is the magneto. The magneto is connected to the engine by means of several geared wheels. The magneto has magnets inside here that um, create electrical current which then via this wire here comes all the way to the spark plug um, which applies a spark to the charge and uh, that's basically how it works. A hit and miss engine doesn't have a throttle. It just fires and then free wheels and that's how it regulates its speed. So typically if this engine is at idle it would fire and then skip probably four or five strokes and then fire again and skip four or five strokes. Whilst it's um, skipping strokes it's um, decompressed so in other words the exhaust valve is held in and I'll show you how that works in a minute but it's held in by just being pushed down like so you can see uh, which in turn happens to the, the lifter being locked in its up position um, and then when it needs to fire the whole mechanism then releases so that then the exhaust valve will um, um, compress the charge, the charge compresses, explodes and uh, kicks the engine along again. So how does this actually work? This engine has a small weight on the flywheel and as you can imagine the faster the flywheel turns the more the weight will move to the outside of the flywheel. And you can see here if I simulate that by pulling the weight out you can see that there's a collar that it's attached to just over here and watch that collar move. Okay, so the collar is in turn attached to a little um, 
piece of metal here that rides up and down, like a follower, um, which in turn operates a catch on the lifter. So that if I turn it around, you can sort of see the lifter is now moving. Um, it's coming out, coming out, coming out. Now, if I was to operate the catch by hand, you can see the catch now down here would, if it was down, hold the lifter and I'll just move it by hand here to show you exactly. So the lifter's come back but now it's been locked in position. So the lifter isn't being allowed to return. You see down here the cam sh shaft is effectively where I'm pointing to there and that's the that's the end of the lifter there. They're separated by daylight as you can see. So the lifter is being held up. Hold the lifter up is the same as holding that valve in and the engine's decompressed. And I can lock that by swinging this little catch over. You can see now it's decompressed. It just does this. So between firing, this engine just free wheels. And as it slows down, what will happen is that weight will move back in towards the centre of the flywheel and as it does that this catch will be allowed to come up by operation. So that collar will go back down, the catch comes up and as you can see now the engine's compressing. The cam is on the camshaft you can hear the engine breathing and hit and miss engines make that noise characteristically you can hear blow by noise there and intake noise up here you can even see as it breathes in watch very closely the intake valve you can see it vibrates slightly um, and that's largely all there is to it. Okay, so now you've seen how it works, more or less. Um, let's uh, start it up. The crank gets attached to the flywheel here, like so. Bit of choke. Turn it around to a fairly rich setting. Open the oiler. It will drip a bit, there's just enough oil there, we won't run it for long and we uh, let rip. 